Hi, my name's Jo Crawford and I'm a young ambassador for the British Dyslexia Association. I'm making an appeal to you to support the BDA Helpline service, which has seen a dramatic increase in calls this year. We are looking to raise £20,000 so we can train more volunteers and help a further 4,000 people. Every call to the BDA Helpline really does matter. We need your help in meeting this demand. The BDA Helpline is a free national helpline that offers um, support and advice for anybody who has a question about dyslexia. We get a whole range of questions from parents who may have a concern about their child at school, um, from adults in the workplace who are struggling and feel they're unsupported, um, students who are going on to university and want to understand how they apply for grants and disabled students allowance, sometimes from employers who want to understand a little bit about the legal position and suspect they might have an individual in their office who's dyslexic. Life was pretty tough, pretty difficult. Um, Olivia was struggling at school, struggling with phonics, with reading. She wasn't, she wasn't able to read. Um, she was frustrated, stressed. She was being bullied at school um, to the point that her hair started to fall out. I felt most people around me thought she was stupid. It was almost the point where, like, what's the point of living? If I can't read and write, and if I can't read and write and do these things, then I can't get a job. And if I can't get a job, then I can't make a living, and then I can't make a living, then I'll just kind of be a fail. Yeah, we decided to ring the BDA helpline because we needed advice. We didn't know who to turn to. We were at wit's end, and it was at that point that my wife decided to call them um, and get help. Once my mum called the BDA helpline, everything improved, and I went to a specialist school, and it all changed. My reading age went up now. It's so much better, like I can see like a future, like I know what I want to do and I have chances and I have opportunities to do them now like I didn't back then. Before my daughter was diagnosed with dyslexia, she was really struggling at school, she totally believed she was stupid. We struggled every night with spellings, caused tears every week and every Friday we'd get the results back and she'd only get one or two. The first time I found the BDA helpline, I was really lost. I didn't know where to turn, and they helped me focus my thoughts and realise that I needed to get a dyslexia assessment to find out Josie's strengths and weaknesses. Since calling the BDA helpline, we've managed to get the support in place. It's helped get Josie an education that she can understand. 10% of the population are dyslexic, so that means on average, three children in every class will be dyslexic. We know for those that don't get support, it can be a downward spiral. Research has shown that four out of 10 people using the job centre are dyslexic, and um, around 50% of people in prison struggle with literacy. The BDA helpline relies very much on, on volunteers for um, support. Um, we're finding that this year we've had a real increase in the number of calls. Call volumes are about 50% up on where they were this time last year, um, which means that in peak times, um, sometimes we can only answer 75% of calls. Now, sometimes when people call us, they've thought about it for a long time, they've plucked up courage um, before they actually make the call. It's very important that there's somebody there at the end of the um, phone at the time that they make the call and then we can speak to them first time because otherwise they may not call back, the time might not be appropriate or the moment may have been lost. Every call matters. If it wasn't for, for, for the helpline, Olivia wouldn't get the help she needed, we wouldn't as a family have that help and there are thousands of people, children like Olivia, who need that help. We need people to ring for advice because when you're going down this journey you feel so alone, you don't know what way to turn, you need people that have had the experience and know what support you need. The support the helpline gave to Julie and Olivia really changed their lives. However, demand has dramatically increased this year, so imagine the difference we can make if we could answer every call. Five pound donation can help answer another call and help change another life. That's the same cost as a coffee and a cookie. Please donate to the BDA helpline and give dyslexic people the support they deserve. Please support our helpline appeal. An extra £5 could help us answer one more call from someone who desperately needs our help.